Good morning, first grade students. Welcome to your first lesson online. Today, what we're going to be talking about is sorting. You have been learning about sorting this week. And what you see in front of you is a shape sort. I want you to take a minute and I want you to think about what you see there. Okay, so I see two circles, two circles that actually overlap to make a little inner circle or oval shape. And on the outside, I see words. I see blue on one side and square on the other. And doing that, we are contrasting those two things. They are different. One side is blue, one side has squares. But what do you notice about the middle? Right, you notice that they're blue and they're square. So what goes in the middle? Exactly, what goes in the middle are things that are common or similar or the same, okay? So we have blue on one side, square on the other, and things that are similar go in the middle and com you know combine the two ideas from the outside going in. So again, you see blue, you have things that are blue, you have things that are square, and in the middle you have things that are blue squares, okay? So we use Venn diagrams to sort things and compare and contrast them. Compare and contrast is a fancy way for saying we find things that are similar or the same, and we find things that are different. Now, we're going to go to the next slide. What do you see is happening here using this Venn diagram? Right, we have red shapes and we have triangles. On one side, we just have all things that are red. On the other side, we have all things that are triangles. But what do you see in the middle? Right, in the middle you see red triangles because they're both red and they are triangles. Good job. Now, this is a little fuzzy, but you can even do this with objects in your home. Okay, so for instance, on this example, we have vegetables on one side, we have celery, we have a pumpkin, we have a potato, right? Vegetables on one side, on this side we have some fruit. We have some an apple, watermelon, and grapes. But what do we have in the middle? We have yellow vegetables and fruits. So we have a banana, we have a lemon, and we have a squash, okay? So you can even do this with objects at home, even things like magnets on your fridge, okay? Or even types of cereal. Take a look at what this little girl is doing. In this picture we have, she has rectangles, right? She has different shapes. And she has the purple rectangles in the middle, right? And then on the other side, she just has some purple shapes. So what she's done is compared her little block set. So on one side, she just has all the rectangles. On the other side, she has the purple. And in the middle, she found all the purple rectangles. So now it's your turn. You can either draw two circles that overlap on paper, and maybe an adult can help you. You can always use sidewalk chalk outside if it's nice, too, to do this on the concrete. Or you can use hula hoops like the little girl did in the picture. Then what you do is you find objects around your house, like Lego blocks, food, magnets, coins, maybe even dinosaur and animal figurines or other toys. And compare them. You put what's different on the outside, and then you put what's the same in the middle. And you can take a picture of your finished work and send it through Class Dojo to your teacher, if you would like to do so. Thank you and have fun shorting shapes and objects.